Hello everyone and welcome to more Seven Wonders here on the channel. My journey to not suck at this game. I felt like the first video actually went pretty well. Um, I was pretty proud of myself in the first video. Um, lost a game by like we were within three points and then we won. Um, I mean barely, um, but it, a victory is a victory. Um, it goes on the stat sheet as a win. Does not matter. I don't know what that means, but uh, Kevin Blaze is just waiting for a second. All right, so, hey, man, wow, we we must be in a Giza. Um, we're really featuring the Pyramids of Giza. This right here, Alexandra, that's my favorite wonder, just for the record. All right, well, we've I think we've done this play um, deja vu here. Um, we've done this play... Every single time we've played, uh, um, Seven Wonders, the two other games we played in the first video, we, uh, grabbed the excavation, the stone slash brick, because we will need it for our, um, completing, excuse me, oh my goodness, completing wonders. Ooh, I'm going to crack a wonderful Aldi brand sparkling water. Excuse me a moment. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, um, the fact that all three gray cards are here is is rather interesting. Um, because I need the papyrus for the last one, it just seems like it, it makes sense to do that one. Let's see. My opponents are... We got the go through the discard pile one. We got the money one in Ephesus. And we've got um, uh, the resource one with um, Alexandra. That's why I love this one, especially this side, is you can in my mind, go really resource light. And because you don't have a lot of resources, your opponents, like, can't pay you for things, and it just, you can choke out your opponents pretty easily. Um, okay, I feel like, while I really would love to get the altar, I'm going to play the smart game and do one lumber yard here. And I'm going to feel good about that. Ooh, I love getting paid for things. Um, hey, well, um, I'm... Ore is one that I don't necessarily prioritize because I don't need it for the wonder. I mean, I need it to pay for other things. But I, I think this is a perfect opportunity to uh, um, maybe get a leg up on the, the war situation with a little guard tower. Um, which I do think is a little bit hilarious in that if I win a war with just a guard tower, that's funny. So you can see Kevin Blaze here is like going really resource light. Um, the good news on that for us is that, um, uh, uh, well, the bad news is East Trading Post is garbage. Um, so you know what? Let's, let's grab the scriptorium. No one's really going sciences. Sure. Why not? Um, West Trading Post isn't the worst thing to get because my opponent does have a lot of stuff. However, um, as of right now, I don't have access to any loom. I do have access to glass. So let's grab the loom. I think we can, um, like grabbing some of the stuff in the next age will be beneficial for us. So we win a war there and we tie a war there. And the nice thing about tying is then just nothing happens. So I don't lose anything. All right, so... This is not the greatest set of cards. However, the courthouse I can construct for free because of the scriptorium. I don't really feel like paying money to get these war cards. I suppose I could get the glass. I don't really need the ore. Um, I'd rather have the stone and the brick. Yeah, I I'm I'm liking that. Okay, so he's going like like blue heavy. Um man, it feels like the library is what I want to do here. Um it's free. I don't really need the wood. Let's, let's play the let's play the thing that's free. Um okay, so he gets the double brick. Okay, there's the double stone. That is what I'm looking for. The vineyard is also really nice in this situation because of um how many brown cards my opponents have on either side of me. But um, the interesting thing here for my friend Kevin Blaze here is I think he's going a little too resource light, and I'm interested to see how he combats that. Um, all right. I think that I'm going to do a brickyard 
and then I'm good on resources. And now I can really use the end of this age and into the third age um, to really, like, get some good points. Okay, interesting that he goes wars there. So I can't do that one. So, But what I'm going to do then is I'm going to play the wonder here because then my opponent, at least on the other side, can't beat me in wars. So I will probably take the loss to Kevin Blaze, but at least I don't take the loss then to Abigarza. Now, there's a chance that th there's a war card in the in the other one, which he does not play, so excellent. Um, and then... I mean, I probably just play the bazaar here. Well, no, I don't play the bazaar. I, 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 sorry, I, I play the the wonder here. Um, I think that that is a good play. So Vaso's going. Okay, so he's going sciences as well. The nice thing about these scriptoriums is like it did get me four points for free, and this is also four points. So like this isn't like the worst thing in the world. Um, alrighty, so I think we try to get a leg up. This is free, so why wouldn't we? There's not anything here that I really want to bury, um, because, like, the Spies Guild isn't good for anybody. No one really has a ton of red cards. Um, I do want to complete both Wonders, so, like, that's going to be something to consider. Okay, so he's going all in on the blues. All right, um, well, I think the best option here is... What is the best option here? Probably this university. That gets me nine points there. I mean, it really sets him up for the Philosopher's Guild, but I don't know if he can afford that. So, you know what? I think that that is what I want to do. I think I want to do that. Ooh, I would absolutely love to bury the palace. I would love to do that. It would bring me great joy. I'm very interested to see how Kevin Blaze does. Because I think he went too resource light. Maybe I'm incorrect. Okay, so he grabbed war as well. Um, I do want to complete this last one, but I feel like there's probably going to be... Um, one in the last um, in the last two cards that I could burn, whereas um, I would like just the six points and the seven points. This is worth four points, and I gotta pay two coins, so I don't love that. Um, I guess my opponents do have a fair amount of yellow cards, but not enough to be like, "Wow, game changing." Okay. Um, like, yeah, this is, we're gonna definitely just bury that one. And that gets me seven points. It also means that because I'm going this way, I, I don't think there was a war card in the other one. I, you know, guess I should be watching these things. Um, interesting that everyone has like a science card here, even though this person's like going the heavy science and heavy war as well. So that's actually an interesting, who is this Vaso? Yeah, it's it, the one difficult thing about Seven Wonders is you kind of pay attention to what's going on to the people on either side of you. But, like, this person, I really can't do much about. Like, I can kind of cut them off, but ultimately I need my my opponents to also cut that person off. Um, and especially when you play with more players, like, there's, there's really just, like, you know, there's not a whole lot you can do. <laughs> there comes a point where it's like, ah, hey, you just, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, he got the, the Philosopher's Guild, which is going to be very good for him. All right, what do we got here? Well, um, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus uh, versus five. I guess it would be six because I take out a victory point here. I think this is, um, I would like to pay Kevin Blaze. Yeah, I think that that's, I like that. And then you get to select a thing from the discard pile. Yippee for you. Aren't you just so great? I think I think Vaso is gonna is gonna take this one. I think he feels in the lead. I don't know how I feel about this this person. I don't think that Abigarza I mean the coin is where he's gonna make a killing. Almost has like he has ten points right now on the coin. 
because it's one for every three, if my math is correct. All right, so I win there, and I tie there, so that's fine. Okay, so I tied for I tied for second there. Yeah, Vaso, like just what a well balanced, um, uh, like thirty one science plus seven guild conflict, huge advantage over the rest of us. Like even with me only losing one war, I still was only at five. Um, yeah, th just this player was set up like yellow is good for infrastructure, but just not for a whole lot of points. It looked like just didn't really know what to do. And then um, Kevin Blaze, we're like 33 in um, the civilian, the blue stuff, and then 19 in guild. Like, he really cleaned up on the guild. So it was being a little unfair to, to Kevin over here. So, um, but as I said, like, it's just, it's just, it's hard when your opponents aren't interacting or doing anything to, to take down this opponent because I don't really have much impact over that. So... Um, all right, so, you know, I, we've played now three games here on the channel, and I really don't feel like I have had a real dud. And so maybe, maybe I've already turned the corner, and I'm pushing a fake narrative that I suck at this game, uh, whereas um, maybe I'm actually just kind of decent, and I just need to practice some more. So that's what this channel is going to bring me, I suppose. Um, I may see long term if maybe we can get like a big game too, like throw off some seven player games because man, that's where it gets fun. Um, all right, hey, look, we finally get <laughs> um, we finally get something other than the pyramids at Giza. Um, so I think it is okay to play that. Um, okay, so now interesting. Do I think just grabbing the coins is good? Do I think that... Nah, I think the timber yard is, is where we want to go. Um, we've got the science guild, another coin guild, and then this is the construct stuff for free guild. Okay. Um, I need glass. Wow. Um, he is going all in on the... Um, whatchamacallit, the war. So let's maybe see if we can, you know, kind of draw a truce here with um, him for in the first age. Let's grab, let's grab that. Okay, so let's see what he does with that guard tower. Um, theater, loving it. Loving the theater here. Um, I don't really want to complete my wonder yet. Okay, so he decides to be a butt face and construct a uh, guard tower. So, poop to you. Um, yeah, I don't want to go through the discard pile right now. Honestly, do I think just... I think just the three points is better than the money. My opponents don't have any, like, stuff that I really care about. I think I'm just taking the, taking the free points. I think that's fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm into that. Okay. So, yeah, I lose, lose there. Um, in the first stage, it's not really catastrophic. Um, okay, so I believe that the sawmill is the direction I would like to go. Because then that gets this last card there. Um, do I want to get the loom? Yes, I... No, I already have loom. Never mind. I don't want to get the loom. False. Um, I cannot grab brick because I only have one coin. So, that is a little concerning. Um, well, gee dang it. Um, you know, I'm just going to discard something. I'm going to discard this. This may seem kind of weird, but I'm going to discard this loom for three coins. Um, because, um, as of right now, my opponents do not have access to loom. Um, again, four points. Never can complain about that. My opponents are really leaning into the wars here. That's fun. Um, however, I think I'm really feeling good about this blue situation. Um, I'm just going to kind of keep piling those up. Maybe to my detriment, but, uh, you know. Um, because I don't have any ore, gosh, it feels like I should, like, grab this. Especially because this hand is garbage. It's hot garbage. Not just garbage, it's hot garbage. Um, this is also a hot garbage hand. So I'm going to just go ahead and 
do this. Complete the wonder to grab the discard pile. And this will give us a look of what's in the discard pile. And he can play his last card. Okay, so I'm going to now grab the five coins, giving me a little bit there. Yeah, I think trying to compete in wars here, just lost cause. Let them com compete now, and I'm going to hope that I can... can um, Ooh, the Spies Guild is... Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and play this because um, that's going to be... Already it's five points, and that's assuming my opponent's playing no more red cards, which I'm assuming they're going to. Everyone played a guild card. Okay, interesting. Um, i probably go for the Palace here. Um, eight points is always really great. Um, so who do I want to pay? I want to pay this person. Yeah, eight points on blues is really, really nice. I would like to complete both of my wonders, but I think that, um, because the extra cards is where my advantage lies, and I need to take advantage of my advantage, for lack of better terms here. Um, I don't mind if my opponents play, um, that kind of stuff. Is anyone doing sciences that I could, like, you know, be a, a jerk face to them? Yeah, I probably just bury this, um, and I want to go to you. And now I get to go to the discard pile, which, um, yeah, playing this one is nice. Oh, that's my oh, that's my hand. This is the discard pile. Well, um, I suppose I will take the card that gets me a point. Um, probably just take the one with the more points. <laughs> um, so that seems, that seems good. Uh, that seems good. Um, again, probably just take the one that gives me points and the one that I can play. Um, that also seems to be a key, a key point here. And then I will just bury one of these and um, ideally, I believe I should get, everything should go to the discard pile, and so now I should get to play another card. Wow, um, he went very heavy sciences. So war does nothing to me. Really, this is what's in the discard pile? Poop. Um, I just would grab that. That gets me some extra points here. So yeah, I, I really take a take a, a, a beating in wars. And that probably is what loses me this game. Holy macaroons. Um yeah, yeah. Um <laughs> So you remember when I said that I haven't had a dud of a game? So yeah, like this is the thing of it when you ignore wars, you just let your opponent like, you know, roll all over you. So he gets the full eighteen points. Um then he gets 48 points in Sciences, 8 points in Guilds. I actually don't think that our score was that bad, but minus 6, you got to have something spectacular to come back from. 37 on, on the um, Civilian points is nice, and, and the, the Spies Guild was a good one. Like That was clearly what I should have done. would have loved the Philosopher's Guild, but uh, I'll throw up a GG here. I, I thought that was a good game. Um, so yeah, but just I... I let me know in the chat what, what you think I should have done. Um, like, was there something that I just missed? Was this just a game I just was going to lose just because sometimes your opponent just runs away with it and gets lucky? Um, wow, and, like, with very limited resources as well. So what do you think? Um, let me know in the chat, in the comments. And if you're new with us, subscribe. Um, uh, it is, I believe this comes out on one of the last days of July, and I'm trying to get to 50 subscribers. I'm pre-recording this because I'm out of town this weekend. Um, so I will be keeping track of how many subscribers I have on my uh, fancy-dancy phone. But uh, um, anyway, uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to be at 50 by the end of July. So, um, yeah, thanks so much for joining us. And we will see you all next time.